and I'll come back home. For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful looking website where we say if you build them for your clients, if you build them for yourself, if you do anything when you want, and if you sell them and make small money on the side just by doing all these kind of things. You can see, say, I'm going to show you how to make websites, we get video, I'm going to show you how you now go feel use WordPress websites so they make websites very fast. I'm going to show you how now go feel even link the site to your WhatsApp. Where we say if you click on it, go give you WhatsApp link for here, and you go feel they advertise your, your work for all your clients' websites. So this um, project will be work on. Now for usually people will be say they don't want to decode and they won't just make websites fast fast and you know, you're not going to waste time with your clients. So you, normally when you're the freelance, if you get like 20 clients, 40 clients, and if you want to work on all those 40 clients, you don't want the right code for all 40 clients. So in one way, we'll be say you go feed the drag and drop or you go feed the use page builder. So I go show now the best practices with SEO. I go show now the best practices of how you go to take the optimize your website to the make your website to the load fast fast and how you go to take the cash, all those things and to the make the site go work for you and for your clients and everybody will be happy so if i come this our project page you go load this our projects page and you will see say uh, it did give me all the projects so this is a multi-page website so we get like the home page which now one we get two the about page we get the services page projects page and this one i just to demonstrate say we get a drop down okay and here contact us page all right so i hope say when i enjoyed the video we could enter into the video soon i go like thank Everybody will on they follow me. Everybody will on they subscribe. Everybody, you guys are the best. But make one not forget, we get group for now to take join our community for Telegram. We're gonna post different things. We're gonna give on our updates. We're gonna even share jobs with one. So make one become a part of this community because as we start to they build up, now now gonna grow with us as we they grow also. If on the follow along, make one come this side and uh, local WP. Now, I know say get different ways where you install WordPress for your machine, but it seems to say, me, I don't use the XAMPP way before, and I know to the user because the process is somehow, somehow long. So, if you want to get another way besides the XAMPP way of installing WordPress, I go like, no. If you come to this site here, local WP, you go see, say, if you download the software here, which now this local, we call it local, and in a very interesting uh, program. So, what you go do, we say, you go just come here, you go need to click this download, you go need to set your machine. We had to use Windows today, so you go click Windows and uh, you go just fill out the form. So, we could have just fill out the form, try fill out, submit them, um, download this, this local for your laptop and install them. Um, when you install them, um, then make you launch them. Um. So, me, I don't already do that one for my laptop if you click here also. So this is not the app where we go to run. This is not my local setup where they run for here. So, so what we go do for here? We say this is not the local sites. All our local sites that I'm going to put for here. And um, if you want connect them, say you want connect them to something like uh, WP Engine or Flywheel, which now say if you want to develop from local, you want to push and go to the internet on on the server somewhere. Now that time you going to use all these kind of tools for here. If you want to do that one directly. Okay, and uh, blueprints, we don't go touch blueprints for here, and add-ons, we don't go to touch add-ons here. Uh, the only thing we're going to need to do is say, I go just like if we install this live reload. Okay, so you can just come in here, but me, I didn't like use this uh, instant reload, sorry, you know, the live reload. I didn't like use that one. So, once you don't install that instant reload, it will help us to refresh our um, WordPress. So, make we spin up uh, a new um, local site. So, you can just come here and say you want add site. And uh, if you don't come here, you see, say this now here, where if you say we get blueprint, if you use that, but we're not going to do that one here. What we're going to do is say we could just get a uh, new site. You will click that and you will click continue. And then make we give this our site a name. Okay, so if you give this site any name, if you give them say, and if you check the advance, if we see where waiting, it will call this our uh, domain. So our domain will be Ninja Build. Uh, also, if you even set um, this now the path for our local machine where we go feed the locate the files. If you browse them, if you open them, see the file gongo where they install the files in case you want to access the WordPress file. So we could just come here. Then if you choose custom or if you prefer, we could just use the default settings for now. Okay. And then uh, make we give this our WordPress, make we add a username for our WordPress. Now that time we go come they use like the orga of this WordPress, we will come they use the orga password. So make it be very careful with who you they give this username and password to. Okay, so this is not just for us, so make we just give them a name. Now, normally most people they normally say make you just press admin. Okay, but me, I don't go advise admin. I go say make you do something else because hackers way they out there, all of them don't know, say everybody they always say admin, admin. The information don't they too much. So make you change your name, make you give them a different name. So if you just give them DJ, okay, dev, something like that. All right. I could just also put the password. If you even try your name, also say DJ dev. 
all right so if you check the password for this site in a dj dev and the name will be dj dev if you make the username and password anything you want and if you put your email for here if you put your real email if you put your company email for here so i will just paste in my email this email now now say if i don't lose my password i feel the user and they retrieve my uh, i feel the user and they get my password back but we could just leave these other ones we could leave this one for no we could leave the advanced options and then we could just click add site once we click on like that it will help us run this ninja build uh this ninja build website when you run them for us you could see say it will help us create a wordpress website it will help us set up a server it will help us give us the username and password everything we need as we set just like we could do for normal hosting websites it will help you propagate the site it will help you build the site so that's why they take time correct so now our site on they build uh we get this ninja build website here where our local don't help us arrange for it so anytime we go this site domain for our local for inside our machine it will give us this thing we even set up ssl if you click here and go set up our ssl if you change the web server if you want to use nginx or you want to use apache if you do that one for yourself and if you change your version of php where you want to use okay so for this one if you just uh make we try use this version of php 8 so make we use that make we apply that one if you do this for the beginning also say oh we won't change them so make we try this also and go just say um starting our php swipe but uh, it is advisable to the, always the update your version of php and of course wordpress is they built with php so as the version of php they update you suppose they also they update your version of your uh, uh website php okay and uh, the database will they use now this version of mysql so not to worry about all these other things for here uh this is not the version of wordpress where they use wordpress 6.1 which they okay and uh, every other thing where we get for here is there all right so um another thing if you do is say if you stop the site for here so if you click stop here it will stop the site for us for here and if you say you won't uh open up no go walk so always make sure say you come here to this start site make sure say it they rate when you click on it will say the server they run and it they rate okay so this is our database here now here we our site they run and at the port where our site they run and of course this is not just the normal settings to run our database where we set for day and uh, this one all these things now our in just our setup then go ahead post arrange all this email here where we get okay so this is not the tools where we get where if we use anytime where we want if we run all these tools so you could come here to this instant download here you can see here or instant reload i don't know why i call it instant download you can't come here you can't click on to run up so you go put them on you go run and uh it day on like this now so if you feel check your site for here so if i just click up we go feel go our browser uh and then we go fit access on for here so it they build our site and this now our new blog or new wordpress website will be built for here so anytime for our machine where our server they run and we come our browser and we type this uh niger dash build uh dot local it go come this domain okay it go open this domain for us so for any time where you don't want to use wordpress it gets the way you feel access any wordpress website okay and then i wait to make wordpress you know very uh accessible to people who are vulnerable so now say if you just come here click this for your local if you just click this wp admin now if you click on it will take you come your admin dashboard or if you come this domain here if you come for this local site you just make we try wp dash admin it will do the exact same thing as that button do so if you click on for any wordpress website you can just type the wordpress website name then we just do slash wp uh dash admin it will carry us come the admin panel now not here where we will need login so remember that username and password where we make that time when we first make the site now make we put that username and password where we put before or if you put the email put so i'll say dj dev and then for the password i will put dj dev i will just press uh remember me uh so that we're not going to log in all the time and then we just click login for them so this is now our wordpress dashboard we don't get a new wordpress website locally for free we don't pay anything we just run down we're not even to stress with any downloading or wordpress or all those things we just don't we click 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 and that's why they work for us so what we're going to do here we say uh make we just disable this uh make we clean up this our dashboard so we can just quickly uh explain what's in the happen for here so this dashboard now here you're going to control all your wordpress website now here you're going to control everything now for this top bar for here 
if you come here now here you go feel the access everything you want about your uh, about wordpress.org if you read the documentation you know when you want to do the development or you want to read more about wordpress development at that time you go need come this wordpress uh, documentation for here or if you just come here to uh if you know they build if you want to view your site just put the mouse for here then come visit site if you open now and then if you do other things with this ones here if you also create new posts if you add new files as media and new pages and if you even add new people to your site for here okay so right here now here if you get your profile if you add um edit your profile and all those things and of course if you sign out for here all right now um what if you do for here be say we you if you update your website so whenever an update they are available you can just come here click for this update and you could check wordpress if you get if you check again you go to run wordpress go to run checks to the update your website they're very good to the update your site every time as much as possible okay and also your client site so they keep them safe for security reasons okay so uh because wordpress they like for blog posts and all those kinds of things primarily that's why we get this whole section for posts now post they, they use post they do all sorts of things but the primary use case for posts now say you they post blog post okay so if you just come this blog post for here uh if you create new blog post for here if you add new blog post if it uh this now um the what the website will we just see first the that our website will we just see for our site i can open up for new tab so i could just hold control and click on this um link there so this will help me open the post so this is not the post here this is not the hello world post where we get for there so we get this hello world post if we add post but we're not gonna work with that one today uh media now where you feel even they add your own files if they add your own pictures your videos or your icons all those things if you add them put for your media here if you add songs i think and uh if you do anything when you want to um if we also come here to pages which they're very important so pages now where um let's say you want to make your home page you won't make your contact page, you won't make an about page, you won't make service page. Now all those things you could do for here. So you could just need to come here and then you could add new page for here. Okay. So uh we're not gonna do that one now, just we could come back to that one in a minute. And then uh, comments and all those kind of things. This one's the new features uh for WordPress, but I'm not gonna touch them because uh we're not too they use that one yet. But um here appearance. If you come appearance now here if you add themes so themes just be like normal thing like uh your phone in a way they're familiar with phone themes or you know um, browser themes or anything where they call where they work with theme share uh, like um customization or the way you want to make your website they look or make it they behave so you get thousands of free themes if not uh, you know hundreds if not thousands of free themes with the wordpress okay so all these ones now the ones will follow the site come and normally wordpress they always name their themes by year say 2023 2021 2022 you don't understand but what we want to say if you just add uh, a new theme so make we just even add a new theme for here i will just click on and then uh make we come uh make we search for themes so you see say you get like almost 5212 themes with the wordpress now some of these themes they they free some of them then they paid some of them then be themes where you say you need some things and some of them you know they never update them so you go make sense make you use theme where you say it they customizable it they easy to use it they normal it they popular and it they very most importantly be say it they well maintained okay so you feel even use these ones this hello elemental but the ones where i they normally they find myself they use now say and they use these three um astra this one for here astra and they also use this ocean wp and they also use cadence once in a while but if you use any of the other ones if you even try the other ones and of course if you don't know anything one that they see one i like one that they use i bet me gonna let me know for the comment section i go like even check out some other things all right then if we go and um, install this astra thing because now so we take build this site where we want for this video and you could just click this install for here all right so as you click install, you go install our Astra theme for us. Okay, so you don't install my uh, Astra theme, and then make sure say we just click activate. All right, so we don't activate this theme, and also now we even delete themes also. All right, so if you just come here again, you could just come into this appearance, and when you come into appearance for here for the sidebar, you will come fit come out the themes where you don't want. Of course, if you come out down to clean space, so make I just come out the twenty twenty one and twenty twenty two. I go leave 2023, so we we'll just come on that one, and then we could come on this one, uh, 2022. Okay, so we get this two for inside here now. You see, see, as we don't activate this thing, it gets some kind of other options where it drop for us for here. Because see, maybe we're not going to explore these options here, but if 
the leaders come here, we will explore these options. So all these options now just follow come with this theme, okay? That's why you see say then they under Astra options for them. All right. Uh, what you want to be say we want to set up our plugins. So we'll come to plugins. And for inside the plugins, you just say we don't get any plugin for here. So make we add some very important plugins where we go uh like use for this project. So so you could just come here, click on add new plugins. So what's it be plugins? Plugins now are just now we're telling be just like your VS Code plugin now we know the followers for the coding side. You can see it just be like our VS Code extensions or our browser extensions, all those kinds of things. Now within our plugins be now way for us to the, you know improve or the they add functionality to our website. We say you know get normally out of the box. You know understand you know you know be follow come you know understand so what you want to be say for here one call add those uh, plugins. So the number one plugin way I could always recommend that our page builder will go use. I will go use the most one of the most uh, free and uh, popular uh, plugin, but it also get paid version and then an the Elementor. The plugins where they eat too much. If you want, they count they count the plugins where they for page building eat plenty. So if you now they use another plugin or if you now know another plugin, we would not like I would like to know which one you now they prefer to use and you know maybe we feel even explore that plugin in the future. But for now, we they use this Elementor plugin. You get free version and you get paid version. So for here, if you see how many people don't even download them, I'm saying that like five million people don't download them. And you they see this essential add-on. So even though I type Elementor for here, you they see these other ones here. This other plug is where they see here now attachment. They, they attach themselves. Then I say um, people use their uh, Elementor API to build plugins also. We we build they build on top of Elementor. So all these ones where you see here, you're gonna notice say you think work with Elementor. You see the word Elementor here. So this premium plugin, if you add that, if you add any of all these other things where you want for here, first make sure say you get your Elementor plugin set up here. Okay. Uh, make we activate this plugin. So we don't install uh, the plugin and we don't activate the plugin. You go there, you go see, I'm saying now our page builder. So make we just quickly set up our website where we want to work with. So in order for us to set them up, make we come to the settings for here. And for the settings page, we could change some kind of things for the settings for this, our WordPress. And for the settings, I just want to explain what you may see for here. So because now our site title we get for here, the text where they see where you want like a tagline. So we could give like our site a tagline. We could say, so if I talk out like this, say this now our site, this now our title. Now the title where they have our site to now we get with this for here. So anytime we become this link, this now our domain, but no worry about this one because on the server, we could like give our site the right domain. You go arrange yourself just like this for here. And this now our email will feed do. And if you want make you your website they receive membership if you want to make people they register for your website you're gonna to need to they allow anyone to they register for your site but nobody waiting we want so we'll just deactivate that one for them and then you go fit search the rules where you want to make people get just know say if the people are administrator now then go get power pass they then the editor and author they go usually there for your blogging and all those kind of things i usually subscribe and i like maybe people will be safe if they show up on your site and all those kind of things too so remember, say whenever you change something for here for your WordPress site, always remember say you go need to the um, press save. You go need to the save them. So we scroll the bottom, the find where you go to save them. You know, understand? And so you go to save uh, all those kinds of things. So make we uh, come this uh, right in here. Right in now, say how you want make your site they behave. Say you want make it they do something or like how you want make it they show your page. So normally, if you come say oh you want make your blog category make it they show on categorize. Uh, your post format, how you want to make it be. You could even fit set your mail settings for here, your mail server, your port, all those things you could fit do with your mailing so that your website could fit the same mail for you. Then uh, you will come here into this reading. Now, if for inside reading here, you can make sure say uh, you come this static site. So make we change this site to static site. So static just means say if we live on for here, this blog, it means say every post we write now, our site could primarily they behave as a blog. But if we want to make it be websites, maybe say if we want to make it they work with pages, now that time we will go click this static site. So make sure say you click that static site, which means say you need to choose a home page. So we we'll don't say we want to make a home page. Okay. So make we make a home page. To make that home page, make we just come here into pages. And you see this add new okay so this add new for here now you want to want add new page so i could just press control and i'm not going to close this tab i want to open up for a new tab or now if you just also right click all right i know today used to right click but if you just right click and open a new tab so if you open that for new tab it will give us the uh, add new page for this tab so uh, I'm, i could just close this so look you just call this page my page page and we could just say this 
my page now our experiment page so this page if we add anything we want for this page if we add new things inside this page for here if you even say okay now you won't change other things for the site if you change the text if you change the background but we're not going to do all these things for here today because nobody will come here can do so make we just save this page because this one not done that thing on the own so make we click publish make sure say you publish so whenever you don't make changes on the page you go click publish okay make sure say you click publish that one now go make sure say the site it will create this link for us maybe say if you preview the link if you go the site anytime you want so make we go back uh that our reading page and make i just refresh this page first so that it go uh pick the new update we make just now so go make sure say you come into uh static and then when you come static here you go make sure say you come into uh this select home page so for this select home page this is say now we get this my page for here okay and this one now same sample page now follow home page so we'll just click this my page and uh we'll just click this blog page as what we want as anything we want so if you just say okay well, our blog page for now make it be this sample page but we go build blog page if we build blog page you go add them for here okay then let me say uh all these posts here and so that is we they all right also if you don't want to make uh, search engines they see your visibility if you don't make your site they crawled by google and all those kind of things at that time you could click this one but if you want make sure say your site google find them make sure say you know click them you know click them all right even though they open that not to discourage them okay so uh you will click this save uh changes and once you save the changes now and we go back inside our website so remember say we open up for new tab before so maybe open up for new tab you will still say this is our website here. You see, say don't change from the blog page where we get before. This is our home page where we get for here where we build, all right? So this is now our my page. So make we go back into make we close all these ones. Uh, make I close this one too, and then make we come into uh primer links, all right? So discussions now waiting where you're going to control moderation for your site media now of course your media settings as you want to make it they behave. But make we go primer links now the primer links. Oh, awesome. So sometimes if you come to primary link, you can see say sometimes the primary link now your URL. If you look here, you can see say all these things now URL. So now here you go to set how you want to make the site URL and um, go to show. Now why they explain this and why they important? This thing they very important because now within SEO or within Google go to help they recognize your site or site where you go to build for clients. Now why you go to come all these things? This place is they very important to the check. So you're going to come here into the post and you go click on this post site here. Now, when you click on this post, make sure say this just go make sure say your site could they run whatever your website be or the client website. Make we say www.nigerbuild.com or .ng slash then whatever post where we want. Now you go give us for here. If you say one time as number, it gonna give us with number. If you say one time with date and time and uh, months and name, you're gonna give us like that. If you say one time day and name, you're gonna do them like this. So usually now post name way be the normal convention way most people they use at least uh me now waiting that they do all the time but if you want to create your own even self with your own post name and do anything you want if you do anything you want with this when you don't they go advanced and at that time you go to work but for this one we could just stick to this post name okay and uh um so no we could just make sure say once you did post name make sure say if you save up and uh once we don't save up uh the next one we're gonna need to do now say we're gonna need to now set up our theme. We're gonna need to now make sure say our theme they work well, well. So make we come into our uh, appearance. I'll make we click appearance. And if you come to this appearance, we could click for inside our Astra options. If you see these options for here, we go click this Astra options. If you come this starter templates, you go free add your own starter template. Starter templates now, you go get ready made site just within one second. So we just they install, uh, they activate our starter template. Okay, so as you don't install our starter template, make we say we want to still set up other things for here. Because we don't already install this thing, this our starter template plugin. We if we click this build your website button, so we we'll click on and it will give us these options here to select our page builder. So as you talk, page builder now thing will be say plugin, or usually something will be say uh that they use and they build pages for platform so for wordpress you get different page builders with the and remember say i don't show now say make gonna install elementor so then why we will use this elementor we want to take a very nice looking site and we want to make them our own website then i'm waiting we want to try to do for here and if you search for any of them if you want a website for business if you choose this one here and it will give us a website for an agency for here so if you say oh you want to use this kind of website for here or you want to use this one for here and so on and so forth but just know say anyone will be premium 
na paid thing of course so if you choose pre popular or latest if you select to the all and so on and so forth if you get e-commerce webs and um, themes also but we're not going to use any of them now because that's now another uh kind video on your own so what we're going to use today now just a simple uh agency website so make we look for one when it makes sense for us what if you even use uh, um if you want preview any of the sites just click them and if you click them it will fit uh preview the site for here all right so so make we try preview the site so we get this from our hero section we get this nice text for here we get this nice background with it here uh the color no bad 5g i like calm i like calm and of course we get the blog section uh make we see whether i even get more pages so make we see the about page and this is not the about page so you just say we get websites we get full design and everything we need the only thing we need to do now is just to make them into our own website that's not all we need to do all right so uh yeah i like them makes sense but we could try check other ones so we could just close them because if you check them now even premium thing with this one so we could look for free thing because now we we won't build for free right we could choose this first one what we see for here uh remember i said we did build ninja build so i just say this one now red and we get this logo for here so make we close them make we see where rcb all right so if you put our phone number here we put our address here our social media if you put there uh we get this form for here so if you use and collect people information we also get small picture of maybe work we don't do before and uh yeah i like this design it makes sense it makes sense it makes sense where where so make we use this one uh now this one we're going to use now you we don't choose so we can scroll to the top and we can see how many other pages this theme gets so if you come the about of course we see say get nice about page and of course if you see say if we come the service it gets nice service page also so if you check our services for here uh if we come our projects we even get our projects for here past projects where we don't make before for people uh if we get all these options if we get for you i make we check the contact page so we get imagine we get one two three four five page website right now uh if we check the contact page we get the form ready if we design the form uh if we even change the design of the form but we could leave the form like this uh make we see we get our phone number we even get google map for here we where they work where they work well so if you zoom in we've set all these things for here uh we're waiting again day so make we say we want to check this so so this call now button of course we're not going to do anything for now because this is not just templates so what we want to be saying we want to add our logo for here so i can just click here uh once i click there wordpress is going to ask us for our media so go click uh already we get the maximum upload of 300 mb if you can increase the settings also um even if your site day on the server you can increase the settings but this 300 mb is day fair so just make sure say any file where you upload you know the past 300 mb if you even check for other pictures if to say we get images for here already we go we go add them but since we don't get any item we could select add new so now our logo with this we could add them Make we add an alt. Uh, make we see say this now logo white text. That's not just the uh the title. If we add caption, if we add description, and uh, the link to them. So anywhere once we don't upload them anywhere for our website or anywhere for internet, even if we even use this image, work with our uh website too. So as we don't add our logo, you see say we get this Niger build logo for here, and this logo it will work anyhow we want. So uh, since now just for demo purposes, make we just leave it like this. So okay and then we will just click continue all right now once we click continue we're going to need to give our site like a color so if we use the red where we get if we use the purple if we use any of these colors we did here um but make we use uh blue you can see blue no bad you can see the green green too no bad so make we use green since we even get a green logo all right and a ninja right so make we leave the font as is and we just click continue if you change the font to anything where you want if you choose the way you want to make the font be anything you want if you do that with just these clicks for here so remember we they build all these things and we never write one line of code we could just need to fill up this form and then we're going to click agree but me i don't go click that one now and i could just say oh, okay well, make i um submit the website but if you leave that sensitive data you know matter and then now it they import all those things you see that site where we see that beautiful website where we just see no 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 it they now they import and come our own website our own local website so we will get the text we will get the images we will get the design anything we did we will even get the plug itself we we make and work like that we will get them okay our thing don't set everything not set we don't install them just like before so make we view our new website correct 
So our site don't do with our logo. Don't carry our color where we even want. Don't give us that green, green, green where we want. Everything just look fresh for us for here. So we get this full website where we feature you. So the only thing where we just did now, I say we want just to change some of the icons, um, some of the uh, images, and uh, some of the text even said. We could see how if you do that. So if you look here for the top here, you will see some kind of options with the here. You will see so we get these options here. Now, what you want to be say these options and they're very important here for up here. So we could just start with the customizer. Now I could open the customizer for another tab. So I could just right click and click on this opening a new tab. Now I'm here. Now the customizer now where where will they edit? The theme settings. So all the settings where Astra don't give us now for the customizers. Now here, if you change all the settings for the customizer for the theme options and all that. So you basically say you get the pro version, but we know they use the pro version. So anything we want to change for here, if you just use the customizer to change up. So we could change this phone number. So you can just click here for the number. And then you can see say it could open the number column for us for here. Now for this text area here, if we add any HTML. So remember all those HTML we've done the right. Now if we add for here. So and if we add them, it will work 100 percent All right. So like we say, um, uh, say we want just add a link, we want make this number, make it be link where we say, if you click on, it will call this number uh, 234 or something like that, okay? But because we know the right code, we could try to avoid code for here, we could just do it for here. So you could just select all this text, so you could just highlight them, and then go click this link for here. So you could say you want add link for there. And when you click link, if you add options for here, if you say what you want me to link do, whether make you go another page, what you want make you do, all those kinds of things. You could put the text or you could put the URL of the of the text. You understand? So if you just say right, all right. So if you just put the number like this, so and then uh, if you want to make link down to all the other pages for our website, we feel done like that. So so okay. So we just click save for there. And once we don't like this, this button go they click it. But this is say when I put my mouse on top of this is say now if you even down. If you also do the same with the address. If you click the social icons, if you start to they remove these icons for you, if you even hide themselves, so the eye now to hide something, okay. If you're not making the show, so if you just say make we hide the LinkedIn, make we even hide the Facebook, and we could just leave the Twitter and the Instagram. We could say now they do two. Now you get uh if you add more icons for here, you get all the other icons. So if you add WhatsApp, if you add the icon here, and if you drag them even top and bottom, so if you drag the icon up there, when you don't finish with something, you can just click publish. I've click publish, uh, click publish. You go to see uh, what they do for here. So because here now the thing where we they work with, but I never refresh the page. So I could click refresh, and if you refresh the page, it goes supposed to come up all these things. With this button, we go fit. Uh, click this button. So you see this button now link where if you click, and if we click on, it will open our phone. If you do on top phone, and we click on because of the tell where we put, it will open our phone dialer and it could call out from uh directly to this uh, number where we put so if you say now we get our whatsapp we get our twitter we get our instagram make we go back into the customizer and uh make we come out the uh make we come out the ones where we don't need actually then we could just click publish so whenever you do something we should remember to the publisher that publisher now, like save so now it's in publish db because you know make you day don't work finish now they can't take light you know come publish them if you regret so um what you want to be say we will come go uh we could go back hmm. and here for inside this back here you get all these options for here all right so we could go back again until you see say you did back into the main menu where we did that time so for here you get the global and the global now here if you said the typography then the way you want me the text b and then also we're waiting typography b if you said the color if you said the containers how you want to make your containers they behave how you want to make your colors they show which kind of color palettes you want what you want to make each color be for something like you want to change the color of anything if you change them for here so like this uh and also just scroll up uh if you click here change the colors uh of the background if you do anything you want if you do with colors for the if as i don't talk about if you do containers if you even do buttons all right so if you change the button how you want me the buttons be whether you want to make it be round buttons whether i make it be ghost buttons whether uh, outline button or ghost buttons sometimes uh whether i want to make it be fill buttons now like this one here okay this one are outline buttons this one are fill buttons with this one so you just say this is not outline button you just see that there but now what we want we want wait something we say go catch the people uh, attention so we could just say this round was for here and make we see whether i go behave so uh i don't know to say i don't know if not just me but i know to say all this round round button they know they come out of fashion small small so now this kind of button now in the ring now this uh rounded square button so we'll just leave one like this for this rounded square button 
and you feature that to any color where you want if you make the font size bigger if you add padding anyhow you want put for these buttons if you do them anyhow nobody go to stock it for here okay so what you want to be say you could just click your publish because we didn't happy with that and then go back and if you change uh, your typography for your block editor but we don't go to that one and then if you even change the other things like the header builder if you change that kind of settings then at this this is not the header right so the top for here now the header builder if you change the logo that i'm sorry the top for here now the header builder also because this here now the um top bar but here will be the header and uh now here we they build this our header so if you look here you can see every element here you get that cb so you can see say the logo and uh, this one for here right remember so we get that logo and if you do the logo if you increase the logo size if you make them bigger if you make them smaller if you make them any size where you want my advice to say uh it didn't make sense make it they leave your logos at a decent size so like 120 if it makes sense sometimes but it will, it will make sense making you make your logo too big okay and then uh, uh if you say oh whether where you want display and whether if you do it responsibly whether you want display them for certain devices how you want to do them so if you want to check the site now for example as it be now like i said i won't hide this and let's say we want we want to check the site now for uh for um, full screen so if you look at like this now you can see say the screen part of the screen don't cut off for here so you can just click here and go open the screen to the full size for here all right so i know say most people know they really reason that thing but sometimes it makes sense so they see what they work on and uh, if you want to make it there on tablet view at that time you go confit uh check them as tablet view so even if you open there you go first say you get the menu where we get you see so we get this menu for here all right so uh make it another one where we get and then uh make we see if we even uh change the view for here to mobile view so now it will behave like a mobile phone as this now now it will show you how our app our uh, i say our app our website or this client website could they show responsibly so this is saying now it show all the text and everything just there on top they are safe nice nice for here and nobody they disturb us for here all right so we could go back to the top and uh, uh another thing if you do be safe for here if you even change the one the way uh, icon so if you click here this icons here you got to change the size of the icons where you want to see it they also select here for here for us if you click on again it they also select so if you choose what you want to see and what you don't want to see for mobile screen what you want to hide for mobile screen for big screen if you choose all those things and anyhow what you want so you can see say you get the buttons here and all these buttons here now say now this button for here so this call to action so if you just say uh call us today and uh if you don't like this say colors today you to say if you call uh click this button here and if you put any link so if you can say this link now if you want to make it do you can say make it tell so i can say tell colon the number so we say so once you do it like this this could give us that phone number and anytime we put the mouse on you and we try to click on because they say it they open, it go open that link and it go call it just try them for your phone and you go see say they work by any 100 percent so we don't need any other thing and we don't want to make it open for another tab so we just leave it like this and if you design them also so if you come here if you also click the design for the text where you want if you set the color if you set the font all those things if you do for here so so we'll just go back to general and then um like we see you won't come here um for the primary menu we go we go fit configure a menu so your menu or your primary menu it gets as it be get as it work so if you want to work with primary menu you will need to configure that menu now the menu now all these items right here right so in order for us to work with this menu you get different types of menu where we put if you do footer menu if you do option menu if you do all sorts of menus if you do for our website so make i show you a very good example so if you look here this about page uh uh quick links if you look this quick links uh menu here you will see say this quick links here now this same quick link so whatever menu they here whatever icons or items they here nine day this quick links if you look these services here say roof and all that things for here nine go day this place for here of course so these two here go be menu all right so make we go to the top here and say we want to edit the main menu we don't do any other thing but the main menu now if you look this main menu make we go back to the top if you look this main menu here you go see say this main menu you get the home page you get the about page you get another about page you get you know so we could just fix that we could just come out this first about and then we could see the second about it is okay so we could leave the second about and we could leave the services projects and sort okay so we could just press save and if we change these names to anything we want all right if we change this label to anything so if you just say uh, about uh, the label will be about 
Okay, so us. Okay, so anytime when we come here, if you change the label to us, so if you say uh, make it be about us, if you come here and say uh, make it this one be us, uh, if you change this text to our services, if you say um, if you do anything with us, you say project undo. Uh, mm, make we say our projects for here instead. So we could just say our projects, and then we could just say contact us. Okay. So we get all these um, options for here. If you change that text. Okay, publish them. Don't forget to publish them. And now it is to say we don't set up our customized uh, menu for there. So you get all the options with there here. I'm not going to touch all of them. But one very important thing we're going to need to know to say um, if we add our CSS for here. So because we use Astra, we could click, like I click close here. If we add our CSS for here, uh, if we use our custom CSS properties for this, our website. So, so if you just say we define the roots, uh, and then if you just add some CSS uh, custom props to this one. So if you just say, um, so anytime we want to call this color, uh, if you just say uh, we want to target something for here, so we could like just target some element and if we add any of our CSS to this and it will go work exactly the way we want. So if you just say want the body and if you just uh, assign our CSS to them, so if you just say, background color and you can see say we get these options all the css selectors for here so if we do anything we want so if you just say background color and then if you just add our custom uh css we'll do okay so if you just say bar and then we we'll just add uh, our custom css prop so or css variables rather so we we'll just say um this now uh color dash one all right and you can see say now we don't change the background color of all our text or something to this green one we see for here Okay, so that now how we feel they influence them. And in case some cases where we say the color now you they change out, you know they work. For example, uh you go one way to override and then that day if you they use importance uh tag. But me, I know they like use them and I will advise against them. So but for now, now so we feel they pick they add our own custom CSS to our website. So that's not a very interesting thing because we did run for here. So what I'm going to do is say we could just leave that CSS variable for there as is until uh, in case we need them in future. This, if you feel them up anything, if you call them your name, so if you say DJ color, uh, you know, DJ one, and it will work exactly the same way I just showed now just now. So like we just press save, so we will save this CSS. So this CSS now go to our code. Uh, if you look at our form, you can see we get everything. They work uh, for our custom page and we don't get any wahala. So what we will do now we say we go like way we we'll say uh if we we go like just change this text so how will we take change the text now remember say I show now say if you want to change the text you're gonna need to go somewhere so if we open the customizer I or if we come to site here and we just come to this place here okay so if you come to site you make sure say you come to the dashboard or we will just go to the website name I will say w p dash admin okay and once you done like this. It will help you run the site into the dashboard. So you get some kind of things where I go like install. We want to install our plugins. So make we go into the plugin section. I'll make we just click plugins there. And then if we just click, uh, you know, new plugins here. Make we search for the plugin we want again. So we'll just come here. I go just type in cache. Okay. And if you type that in, you go get the one, the plugin we will define, which are this light speed. So we could install this light speed and this light speed cache. What thing will help us do? Say it will help us to the cache our website. It could help us they make and they fast. It could load faster for us. And so this side could work. So it's activate them. Okay, you don't activate. So what thing they help us do? We say it help us declare our cache. So anytime you just come to here, now the icon with this, you could just come to this icon here. I could just click this purge all. If you click on it will help us purge the cache. Let me say all the files are there inside the uh the server. 
it could help us clean them um, and it could help us they save some files maybe say it could help us they arrange them well well for us in case we change something and that's enough change so it's not a very helpful thing where they help your site today run faster so if you look here now and if you come inside this wp form wp form now we can make form that form day our site so remember say we just import one site inside our website into our uh this our niger build and uh, that theme or that template where we import it comes with a form so for the contact page they carry form inside and that form with the contact page they carry so like this now within our users go they submit to us now waiting people go they give us now waiting people go used to they send us messages and all those kind of things now what we going to do with that contact page so i will show now how to also work with this contact form later on so make i show you how to take edit the site so make we go back to the site so come here and for instance here you can just click visit site so for inside this our home page or any page of our website like this as we don't get the site where they work for here what we want to be say we want just add some kind of other things so make we try edit this site we have to say if we make we change this from commercial roofing to commercial uh you know construction properties or something like that experts so make we go here come here into this top bar here remember say, i tell you say, this top bar the important so you come to stop bar and you go click this edit with elementor so when you click that edit with elementor it will help us open our our home page only this home page this home page will be there if, or if, if we did the about page you go open the about page but as we did the home page it will help us open the home page but for inside the elementor editor which means if we edit um with elementor now i don't tell you i say elementor now our page builder so i open up for new tab if you open up for new tab so our page builder don't load at this not the elementor page builder now even though elementor you, you need your own course on your own like so i could just try uh okay i could just try giving a let's say if you not see him and i go feel understand what's in the apple for elementor if you not want video on top uh you know elementor you want another course on elementor just make i know then we'll go see what if you do focus only on elementor how everything if you do with elementor because elementor you get free version we if you, where will they use now for this entire video now free but you get the paid version also the pro version and that one too they give you some kind of things so make i show you so if you come here uh this now our elemental dash now dashboard will they work with and we get this layer so this place here this now layers make i just close up i get all these options for here so uh if it if it make this big or if you make it small if you close this here if you come to this button you see so you, you go just fit preview your website as it be for here if not you just want edit them again you go open up so now here you go to change all the things where you want for your site if you say you want a uh make we say you want a text so you see this heading here you will say make you click on and you go drag them in as simple with the color and drag and drop for this ones so if you move them anywhere you want for the page if you move them up if you move them here if you move them underneath if you put them under the button so make you see how it works so you can just drop them there and you can see the text for there that now all so if we close here just to preview them again i can see as they work just like say we add the text but since this text now black by default so we don't want them what we want to be say we want to change the color of the text so we can just click this text for here and when you click the text if you change the text where you want so you can say uh if we say for here you can just say now nah, the uh new text okay so if you check here now you can see say this now nah, the new text I put like this so if you say this is not the new text now now black be so ne? so what you want to be say you want to change them to white so you go look here now for inside this place here you go get where you feel control so every uh elemental element or uh or all these uh, components where they here they like all the components so all these elemental elements or components no matter the name but what they do be say did they give us this um did they give us these options here so if we change the content for the content side we feel style them for the style side and if we use the advanced side for uh to the add some kind of other uh, extra features for here okay so uh be, because elementor where they use now the free version you get some things where we no go fit to they do for example we no go fit add our custom css so you remember say i shown and say we fit add css for that customizer side that now another trick why i don't give now so in case you do work on elementor and the disadvantage we say if you don't pay for um you know go feed the ad one of the disadvantage we say you know go feed the ad uh, css directly for inside your elementor um page builder so that's not something where you're gonna need to upgrade if you want that kind of feature or you're gonna need to go your customizer where i don't show now they come they add your css that not in case you want the use css all right and sometimes you're gonna want the use css sometimes so uh make we come back inside content 
And if you change the size of the text for here, if you just say, oh, you want to make the text day large, you want to make it day extra large, you want to make it day, uh, if not, if you choose the HTML element, if you want to make it be H6, if you want to make it be H1, you just say, with the change jump on the styles, not the change that because we don't change uh, the size, we don't add the size for extra large for here. So the elements will be, you know, if you style up any other one. If you say, make it change the alignment also, if you want to make it day the center, uh, if you want to make it the uh, right side, all those kinds of things, if you do for there. And another thing, what if you do, we say, if you set, change the responsiveness, the way the ego they behave when they day on small screen, when they go, the way the text go, they show when they day on medium screen or big screen. So for big screen, we could just say we want to make the text day for the left side. Then we could change the text. So you could just come here inside this desktop uh, icon here where you can see. If you click on, you will see these options for here. So if you choose between the tablet or the mobile view, but if you come here also, you will get this drop down we get here. So this drop down, this uh, top bar here, it could help us they check the responsive uh, design of the site where they work with. So if we even they change how we want to make it, they show the breakpoints and all those kind of things. So all the breakpoints right there now uh, for the mobile by default uh, for the I would say call a tablet and this now the breakpoint for the mobile okay so make we try from the breakpoint for the big one for the pc or desktop so make we make them say the text go big and make we make the text stay for the left then make we uh say okay we want them for the deck uh what's call a tablet so go tablet and go say okay well, for tablets Remember, I say once you don't enter this tablet view now, at that time, if you change any of these styles, we get this icon for here, we get this view. It means it will behave differently when you change that view. So make we say when it day tablet view, make it day the right side. Okay, so we want the text, make it jump from here, and make it jump go here. Then make we change them again, and make we say when we day mobile view, and we go say, okay, when we day mobile view, any view will be the highest, way big from this tablet view down, it will follow that style. So if you want to change them, you could just come the next style. If I change them, as I don't change them for the tablet view, say, okay, we made the text there right now. If I come now lower, which now the mobile view for here, the styles will remain the same. You know, go change because they come from up, down. You understand? Unless you want to specify, say, oh, now waiting, I want to be this gang, gang, gang. Now that time, you go come feel, do that kind of style. So make we change them to center for here. So we want to say for desktop screen, it go there the right side. For, um, yes, the left side, sorry. For tablet screen, it go there the right side. And for um, mobile view, you could do the middle side. So make we try see as if it work for us. If you also drag them for here, self, okay. So make we just say, uh, make we just click and say, okay, for mobile view, and so it be for this view. But uh, make we put them for tablet view, and you see, say it don't come. The text don't show for the right side. And if you put them for desktop view, you can see say the text don't fly come. Uh, the the text don't fly come the uh what's it called the left side so that's how we they fit they add some kind of uh, behavior or to they make our style they look nicer uh we, we want to customize them and want make it behave for mobile screen different and all those kinds of things now if you do so make we change some styles make we add some css so usually if you do the css for here if you change the text style if you change the typography if you change the stroke anyhow you want make it be if you put shadow if you do some kind of things around so make we change the text style and what I want to be say, I want to um, show some, so you get some values, we follow and come, some colors, we go don't follow the site come. So if you click here, for inside here, you can say get the default. So if you set the default um, colors where you want, so all these colors where you see here, now the colors where we don't already use import, where we don't import, now them they here, if you change them anyhow you want, if you want to change them, just come to the settings here, and you can manage your colors here, but we're not going to change them. So if you just add our own also, if you use all these colors for here, if you change them, say, okay, well, you want to make the text day green, and it will be green for there. But if you say you want to make it a lighter green, okay, this green, day, okay. So uh, if you say, oh, okay, you like this color, and you define with this color, you know, mind, no, wahala, it will be like that. Now, if you say you want, you want to add your own color, you will click here, and then when you click that color, you will change that to any color where you want, okay? So if you come here, if you change the uh, color to like blue, you make the blue a bit lighter, if you even make them slightly transparent, if you change your opacity, they say I'm saying if you change all those things, what if you do for you? If you even add the hex code, if you now want to add the hex code uh, directly for here. Then when you don't do like that, if you even color pick for here, if you use that dynamic tags, which you know, not say you're going to pay for if you want to use them, and then you feel even add them. So make we add this color. Make we call this color uh, Niger uh, blue. Okay. And any name where you call them, you can still work no matter. And then when you add them, you go save for your for this elemental. So if you use them for any of your pages where they work on top, 
you can use this color so if you just come here now if you want to find this color you see say you don't give them blue uh niger blue color for you so if you click this globe color you see this globe icon i mean global so if you click that globe you will come make um uh and you scroll down so we still get even more colors but if you scroll down you'll see this our niger color for here okay so uh if you add as many colors as you want and it could help you they work faster another thing if you do be say if you even right click for now so if you right click say for this uh, uh text so if you duplicate you get some options if you edit them if you duplicate them if you copy them copy paste them if you even copy this the, the whole thing and paste the style but if you do be say if you just duplicate so make we duplicate um something else make we duplicate this one we just say duplicate and you see say we don't make different copy if you duplicate as many if you even press ctrl d you go ahead and duplicate that one and ctrl z go undo what we just duplicate okay so it just be like normal the way they do undo and uh, just like our figma if you add notes all these ones here now uh now pro features will be get for here if you also delete them so make we delete that one make we just delete this our uh, demo text where we work with and make we change this text from here from commercial now if you look here you get within catch my eye you see say here the text where they use they see add some html for here that now because if you use html to the add break points so we they use this um, break here this break tag for here meaning say any element with the after um, you could push up on the next line so if you say from roofing if you say uh building okay so if you say we are commercial building experts all right and just that like, like that we don't change this our uh website to they look very nice so make we change anything maybe roofing make we change them let me say make i change the text for here roofing and then make we say building problems and then call us 24 7 for our service so if you do any of these things like this now you see say here they get this button for here so make we click the button and this is say the button we get this edit button that's not because if you want to add button for here you get the button element so if you add the button for here make we add them um, uh underneath and as we add the button underneath you can see say we feel do some kind of other things for here so we feel even copy the styles or change the styles of each button so make i just change the style button i think this button is supposed to work for us make we say we want to make this button make it day large and make we say uh or make it the extra large you know and then make we add uh, an icon. So if you want to add icon to your button, you can need to come here. You will click that icon. So for here, you get all these icons where we feel use. If you use any of these icons, we um, follow come with our elemental, which now font awesome. Now go down the familiar with font awesome icons. So now these icons will really work with for here now. Now if you come these icons here, if you choose any of them, if you just say okay, make you choose this one, this arrow here. And you see, say we get that icon for there. Now, if you even change the position of the icon, so if you say you want to make the icon day before or after the text, so um, if we add the icon for here, and you can say make it day after the text, all right? So if you change the text also for this, instead of click here, if you change down to colors, or you know, and uh, if you change down to any text where you want, and you go get that icon for there. And if you change the behavior of the text, so if you change the styles, this now. Uh, now, we're familiar with Bootstrap, you can see say, this day familiar to Bootstrap classes. So, if you say warning, you see say they give us that Bootstrap yellow. Uh, if you change them to danger, it could give us red, which now Bootstrap red. So, uh, all these things, Elemental team don't help us build all these things. We say we don't go even write code, but all these codes, now that code, where they apply on top of them. So, if you're familiar with Bootstrap or CSS or HTML, you will feel all this knowledge, you could use them to your advantage for here. If you give your buttons an ID also, if you want to target them with JavaScript or with CSS, uh, make we go the styles, make we change the color of this, and we go like um, they change the hover effect for here. So if we change the way I want to make this text, they behave, and just like we change, we create our own color. We feel also create our own text. So if you change the way we want to make the text behave, all right. So if you change the text to any text we want, if you say okay, well, when you click this family, you just come this family, click default. If it loads small, but no worry now because the list plenty, so no worry yourself. If you click on once and you see say the day, just no worry, go load finish now because say plenty. So all these fonts where they here now fonts will be feel used for our website. So make we see where which, which nice one if I make we say uh, uh um, we won't use this font. Now make we increase the font family. So if we increase the font fam the font size by pixels, make we say we won't change the font size. If you increase the font size by pixels, if you change any amount where you want, it will work the same for us. If you change the size by EM, by RAM, or by view, so make we just leave them say we want them for. 30 pixels, like I say, 30 for here. 
all right so this is not our styles or our button for here if we even change the font weight the transformer if you say we want to make it be lowercase uppercase if we change the font weight and we want to make the text low show for us make it thin make it thick make it show make it big anything we want if we do with this uh our text for here if you've also changed the style if you want to make it uh the um italic and so on and so forth if you change the line height if you change the letter spacing if you increase the space okay well, you want the spacing and mind you as if i increase all this space for here i feel make can change the word also but i feel also make them behave differently for mobile screen so remember see these icons they here and these icons they, they help us they work with the uh mobile view so like i talk this whole thing here on, on a very different um projects way in a di uh, different video way elemental good need but the idea to say explore and explore and play with them Try to be familiar with them and I shall say when I go fit uh, understand more. But if you want video about them, make sure let me know for the comment section and I go drop video for now on top how on fit make website, better websites with Elemental. So anything you don't do, if you want to check out for your sites now, this button, if we open up for our site, it no go show. Why? Because we never update them, we never save them. So you suppose they always they save your site. So if you save them to draft or if you save them as templates, we say if if I save them as templates, if you share if you share them with you now, and if you share them with me, if I get template like this, I could just call my elemental once I don't install them, I could just drop your template inside. It will show exactly as we take even set up this one. Now template bar, now template where we could also feel make by ourselves. But since we just they update this on our website, because if you check them here and you refresh always make sure say you suppose they save your changes then i want very important thing about wordpress always save your changes before never take light because you never take light and you never save your changes and your internet go off you want if <laughs> you feel regret okay so make we uh come here and uh if we update them now we go get this our button for here so just give us some time it go load and when you don't load you go come green the color here could change say you don't update you see say day gray that means say nothing to update when the day green it means say you need to update and so if i click and nothing will happen so we could go back our site you know load the button so we could just refresh the page and this is say now our button don't day inside here make we come out down uh if you even just like i say copy the style or if you paste them here paste style and it will take the style exactly like this so you see say don't resemble them back again don't resemble carry this they carry the padding and carry the margin so make we even check that so if you come inside this button i uh, waiting i would like to say i would like make the button the hover like make the color they change to red when i hover on top of so i go come this hover and when you come the hover it just may say which, which style you want to apply from here down which style you want to apply when you put the hover on top or when you put the mouse on top if you say you want to just make it just grow make it shrink if you add some kind of animation here any animation if you want to make it wobble anything where you want it will do for you it's the same but what you want to be saying you want to change the colors if you change the background type also if you want to make it be gradient you want to use linear gradient if you change them so if you make them custom um, this pink and then if you change the um, secondary color so you could say the the background color you could change them to this one so make you change to this our default color we make before which now this our niger blue and then make we say the other color will be this red zero. so we put the mouse on top you can see the, the blue don't they show uh light gradient so if you put them off from gradients it will just show only this our niger blue if you put the blue uh put the icon on top you can see they show it they wobble so another thing we would like to say if you change the um Pardons and the margins. So if you come to this advanced tab for any element, text, button, anything, most of them, they all, all of them, they get advanced. So when you come to this advanced, now they do some advanced things. So all, all the advanced tabs, they, they usually get the layout. And this layout, they get the layout, they get the motion effects, they get the transition, the background, and all sorts of things if you do for here. So make you check the layouts because now layouts where you go to get the margins and the patterns where you want to work with. So if you add your margins here, if you add your patterns here based on pixel, RAMs, or percentage or M's, if you do any of those things for here. So if you look here, you go see say the padding top for here now 50, then the padding for the top of this element now 50. If you want to put padding for the bottom, if you increase them to 50. You understand uh if you just type himself say you want 50 and it could give you that padding of 50 top 50 bottom okay if you also like i shown and say anytime when you see these icons desktop and so you mean say if you change them to responsive then what you mean if you change different styles for mobile view for desktop view if you do or anything where you want so just look out for all these icons now that time you could take no or you could take two so if you give them this guy style for here the add margins if you even add css classes so and see index so this css classes waiting i'd like use them do be say i would like give this button like a class and if i give them a class or elements where i want to style a class then i can go inside 
the customizer, remember, and then I could come to style that class for inside the customizer so that anytime where I apply that class on top, any elemental element, it go work. So that's a one nice hack where uh, I don't give on a web say if you use them um, instead of making it pay for CSS and all those kinds of things. Another thing where if you do the same if we add a motion effect. So many say if we add entrance animation. Uh, make we change, make we see if we feel, say we get one animation, like uh, if we call them bounce, uh, make we call them zoom instead. So if you want to make it zoom in, I want to make it zoom in up. So you can just click here and you can see, say the button goes zoom in up. We can see animation speed slow. So whenever we enter your hand, the button goes show, go jump inside here. So if we update them, make we preview them for our site. So our site now, when we want to preview our site, just make sure say this site is safe first before you go back, go preview the site. So once we update them, we could go back to our site. I see say now we get the old button bar. So what we go do, we say click on, press refresh for here. And if we refresh, you can see say this button go change and go fly from button come. And you see say the button just fly, enter the screen, enter. So it behave just the way we like, make it behave. Okay. Now we could go back there. And uh, you get other things. If you change the timing of the animation, if you stop them, um, if you do anything where you want, if you change the transform, if you say, ah, you want to make the button, they behave different when you put the mouse on top of them. Um, if you change the way you want to make the button, they screw. If you change the uh, screw, the, the way you want to make the button behave. If you do all those things for here, so make the button. Day. So there's really nothing where you know if you do with your elemental. And then we could just come on this queue. So if you want to come on something, you could just return them back to in default. So you go click here go carry and go back the queue so i don't cover quite a lot for now making a few they work with make we come on this button if you want to change this house now you need a picture where you go take your picture well if you go google go get picture you feel land for trouble then you say people feel sue you for downloading a picture way you know supposed download so the best site to define pictures now on splash if you just google on splash so on Splash, they give us free images where we want to use them, do anything where we want. And again, very interesting API, where we say, if you want to use experiments with one day. But what we define, we say, we define something where they for building. So like we say, we define something for, um, so if you just say, we define building construction. And if you find anything where we want on top building construction. So if you say, oh, oh make we use this one for here. So I could just click on, and uh, if you download this picture for our website. So again, different ways, maybe say, uh, luckily for us, we it add images to our website, but make I just show now the uh, normal way to do one. So we could come here into this uh, download free. And whenever you want to download picture, I know say they very nice to want to keep your picture, make it this strong, make it they bold, but make it they clear uh, like HD, make everybody like them. But the problem is, say, if you did download pictures or images, if your site, they carry big, big, big picture, it they add more MB on top of your website. So not to the use picture where we say it just, you know, HD, it clear. Use the one where they normally clear or medium clear. So right now, the one we will get for here, now this one. So if you just say, make we choose this download medium, okay? You're going to need to click this middle side so that you go feel they change the elements or the backgrounds for the background. So you're going to need to come here for the styles. And then you go see the image where you want. So if you change this image to anything where you want, if you change that to slideshow, video, and uh, gradient, anything where you want, if you done with this video, with this image. So if you change that here, and if we add that our primary color, that our Niger blue, and if we add them, we say now we get this gradient for here. Okay. So if you do anything where you want with this image, but for now we will just leave them here, and then we will just tell, say we want to change only this picture with it here. So make we click the picture. And you see, say we don't download our picture. Now, if you even install picture from a URL, so we could come here into this our images here. I don't know why I know the show for here. And uh, yes, before I forget, if you even get free images for here, so I don't tell you how to say you get different ways where you get images, but we just want to upload our picture. So we will click upload files. And again, we will come here the way we take upload our logo, and so we will take upload our picture. If you even drag our picture, so we can just open the image for here. And then I could just drag them and drop them inside here. Okay. So once we drop them, we get the image for our website. So don't forget, whenever they make websites, always they add your alt tag. This thing will help your site SEO and it's going to help your site they rank better. Website Google go feed they work with your site. So uh, make we click here. Uh, make we give them a name. So we we'll just say, and then make we come here and make we say, make we leave them like this. And then make we click insert media. 
So once we click that, it will help us change this our image to this construction image where we get for here. But it is see say the image bright before. So if you check them, you can see say they brighter. But if you check this our own, you can see say they be dollar. So make you try see whether if you do if you change the the way we want to make the image be. If you say whether we want to make it be the work we scroll. If you say we want to make it be fixed. If you do anything we want, so if you say we want to make it fixed, you see say the image could be fixed. Make I show you. So you can see say they give us this nice effect where you say like parallax effects. So you can just do like this and go to show the way we want to make it do. So uh then I one nice uh trick way if you do it elemental. So you can come back here. Whenever you want to access this image, make I close here. You could just come here and you could just click this side. Okay, so you go come here for the background and you go come inside this color. So you see, say they don't they use this primary color, but what you want to do is say we want to change that color. So make we try find another color. So you say primary color four. Now this color we did they use, but make we say we define something we did different. So make we try this one. And then as we use that color, we feel even change the opacity. We feel say make the opacity big, make the opacity small. You understand? We feel even make them a different color. So if you try that our blue, and then we feel change the opacity of that our blue. We put down for the background if we make them more like this it no matter but the idea is say we get this site and uh it will work for us nice nice for us so again many things we uh, i feel like show now for elemental but i no go show now for this elemental video because uh this now we till we they try uh learn okay we know they we call it call it wordpress and not elemental all right so make we scroll down and if we change any other thing where we want for this our site we make up any way we want to so make i make this color uh, make i see this green and uh, I won't make the text stand out small. And then, uh, yeah, I think I like this design small. And so if you change these images, if you do anything, but always make sure, say, once you do all these things, you're going to need to update your site. So maybe just explore some kind of other elements. So like always, if you want to add video to your website, uh, make you scroll to the bottom here. Make you scroll to the last page, to the bottom. You can see here for the bottom of every uh, page where they work on with Elementor, you get this uh, plus sign, and you get this section sign, actually. Yes, yeah, so if you click on this plus sign, if you add new section, if you click on this uh, folder side, if you add new templates, and if you want to collect other templates, if you click from this starter template, because we don't install that plugin. And you get other plugins where you say, if you install them, they will help you add more features to your Elementor, just like this one. So if you do other things for the site. So if you come here now, you see this form for here, we could click this form. You can see say this form, they use this uh, this component, which now this uh, WP form. If you come here for the top, you come basic, you can see say we get this WP form. Then now it's this element B and this WP form now our form where people feel used to the contact us. So we click on this is we get two different types of forms: simple contact form and quick uh, uh, service uh, request. So these forms nobody will make them because now follow confirm. So if you even do much more, if you customize them before, we gonna need to open them before. But now if you edit the form for here, okay. So if you just come here, say you want edit the form, so you just click edit. Now here we feel edit our um form. We feel change anything we want for the form. I don't go to talk about editing this form or changing the contact form, but just know say now here we feel change all the things we want. So if you see say if you get a free quote, if you do all those things, if you change the text, so if you just come here, if you change the text of all the forms we want, if you even add um uh, recapture like security for your form, if you add down for here, so if you say you want add down. I just click up and it will tell you say uh make you add capture so if you're not gonna know one know you know how to maybe when we do an elemental video or if you want make know how to take add all these things for your form and for your client form just let us know make we know for the comment section if you make video for your top down kind of thing so we could just click ok because we don't get any of that and if you create your own from scratch so uh make we leave here i used to say we get the button and all the styles we we get for there so we don't get any problem for here uh make we update Okay, always update so that uh, if you don't say you don't work with everything, you they happy with everything where you don't do, always they update your form. All right. So uh, if you look down here, you will see say we know we edit this this element. Okay, you just say ah, we know we edit them, but we did the element on why we know we edit them. That's because this element here, this footer and the header. Can okay, close here? This is not the header. This header here, where you see for here. We know if we edit them. So if I come here and I say, ah, where the option to edit them? If you did elemental, you know go for edit them. Unless you maybe do use one plugin for them. But if you don't use one plugin, you don't like this now, you know go for edit them. Why? Because the header and the footer now global elements. They follow the theme come. So because of that, you're going to need to go to the customizer if you want to edit all these uh, elements for here. So we could just scroll to the top. We could try to change something for here. And even though I like this picture where we're, I could like just change them to something else. So we can click here for the top here and then make we come into uh, into styles. 
and then we see whether we feel change up into a video. So we'll come to video, and you see, say for this video here, we feel add link. So we could see how we feel even add link. So what if we see video? Well, if you define video for your site, you could go this site. So if you Google Pexos video, Pexos now site where we say it did like on splash or it did like pixel bay, but then they give us very nice video. And if you check the construction, make we see what we get. Okay, I like this video. We could see. Uh, so we could just come here. We could download the um, this video, this size, and you just say this video now just two MB. So we could come back into our upload. We could upload this new video where we just put. So we could copy this video. We just paste the link, and just like that we get this um, for our website. All right. So we could upload update them if you say you want make it play once or you want make it play for mobile screen so by default you know they play for mobile screen but it will make sense if you get a fallback image when you say if the picture never load or something like that at that time if you put the fallback but we're not going to put fallback for here for yeah for now so we could just say uh for mobile screens make you see as it could behave for mobile screens you see as it will show for mobile screens and if you come here you'll see as it behave for uh uh tablets and come here you'll see as it will behave for and desktop. So we could preview our site again. Hit refresh for here. And just like that, we get this our, our amazing looking website. Try and see whether we even change something for here. So if you look here, I just want to say we get the name of our website. But what if we go like put our own name for here? So I don't explain when I say now for the customizer, we'll say I'm so we could go to customizer and remember if you open up for another tab, so we'll open that customizer for another tab. And for inside our customizer. We could scroll down to the bottom and you just say if we edit this element for here. So, anyway, when you see this edit, you may say if we edit this element. But what we want to say, we want to edit this one. So, we'll click here and if we change the text for here. So, the text was supposed to show and the text will be defined. Now, say you know, say the talk and say powered by Astra team. So, we don't want that one. What we define, we say uh, powered by DJ dev. As so you don't like this, you also say now we don't add that text DJ dev. For our, our website. Now, if you look up, you can see say this, but this is not just text. But what if we want to make it be link? What we say if we build site for our clients, we want to make our clients make them we click that link and the link go, let's say we want to make the link carry them go our website or we want to make the link carry them go our WhatsApp. All right. So if you want to add that kind of WhatsApp link to your site, you go come to this site, create.wa.link. So this site, it, they help us they create WhatsApp link quick, quick, and very easy. So you could just come here and you go if you put say you want to create your link, all right? So you could just come here, create link, and here if you put your phone number, if you put your phone number, if you put anything you want, so if you just say Ninja, <laughs> then you're gonna come here, you're gonna say you define two three four uh one two three one zero. All right. So once you put that number there, if you can put a message there for here, if you say whenever people want to send you a message, they go say I'm like this. So this is not the preview. Hello, I like your work. Or if you even put the client's website, so you can say, so if you just leave a message like this, so that anytime where person click on, you, you go to see, say, oh, okay, now person will get your link from the Ninja Build website to Nain, do like this, Nain, click this link, or now there you find this uh, potential client. So now here, if you define potential clients, I don't get many clients from this kind of link also. So we could do it like this because you say it don't help us generate a WhatsApp number with a QR code. So if you even save this QR code, and if you now don't watch that last video about how we take make that QR code, we're gonna check that video too out. Now, very interesting video. We we'll use uh API, they build this uh QR code. So you will get an idea how they take they generate this kind of thing also for us. So you get the QR code for there and you get the link for here. So if you click this link now and it will help us get anything. So if you just come here, so one copy the link, all right. If you add link to qr code also if you want or you just want to copy the link so if we just copy the link and for here we could call need link um, to our own website so how we will take down you'll just highlight the text where you want to make people click so i want to make people click this text for here i want to make them a link so i could click on here as link and then i will paste that link where we just copy from our whatsapp uh, demo link then you could click this gear because what you want we say you know made them close the site instead you all made them open up for another page go on another page so you can click update for there and now if you look this button you can see say the button style we don't change or the text style we don't change so if people put mouse on top you know with the show so make we try um change that style color uh just highlight them um, and then make we see whether if you change the color of the text 
So if you say we want to change the text color to something else, like we say we want to make it a bright green. Now, if you change it like this, you will see the text they bold for there now. No hala. So we could just leave it like this. And remember, if you want to change them to code, if you want to write the code for them, this is all this is now code. But if you want to write the code for them, you could do less uh, troublesome. Now, now, another tip I don't show now how enough it even add what's happening to uh, this side for you. So make we uh, press save for there into our main site preview. And this is say we get the Astra team for here. So make we refresh the page. So if you click the link for here, so if you click this link, it's supposed to go open a new tab and it will tell us, say, oh, okay, Shay, I want to continue to the work with WhatsApp, but uh, I don't want to put on my WhatsApp now, so I will just click cancel. But to say I get WhatsApp for this browser now, or I get my phone, it could open the WhatsApp with this message for here, um, with this WhatsApp uh, link. So I don't give you a small marketing tip for there, all right? And then uh, make me say, we won't even add a back to top because I know to say for here, we don't get back to top. Um, so back to top now we will say if people come this side you want to make people feel click them and if they click them you want to make it go to the top to the page automatically you don't really scroll all the time you know it give us better user experience okay so what you want to be say you will come inside inside i say inside you will come inside um our upload we could go into the upload make we change them so make we come plugins and make we click plugins and for inside these plugins, you go see say if we add new plugins, so make we add plugins. Remember, say we just use. And also, if you put too much plugins, you no know, good. So you, you go get tempted to add many many plugins. But the more plugins you put, I believe say the more you they uh, damage or you they slow down your site or you they put too much pressure on your site. So you suppose they very cautious about speed or when you they make site. Because if your site slow or anyhow, Google no go they like that site and your clients their business go suffer also. So they are aware about that kind of thing. So make we come here. And then make we say we won't find a, a back to top. So I could just say back to top. Now, this back to top, there are plenty for this WordPress uh, ecosystem. And the team say if we add any of them where we want. So uh, make we see, usually to they know which one to use, just they use the one we say a day up to date. And so you they take note which one. They download plugins, we say a day up to date. So you could see, say this one, they just updated them three months ago. That's the most recent. Okay, no, this one said a day compatible with our version of WordPress. And you see, say 200,000 people doing that. So we just use this one, this WP scroll to top. And now when we don't install them, make we activate them. So you don't install the plugin, make you scroll. So you can see, say we get this uh, scroll to top for here where they activated. Now make we come the settings. If you even find the settings for here, if you come settings and then you come the scroll to top. Now the same thing. We change settings to anything you want. So if you come say we want to enable them, so make we activate them. And once we activate them, we will also need to save them. So always they remember that. So let me just go through some of the settings we did here. We, in case we want to make it day, uh, uh, asynchronous, of course, so that you go to load anyhow when you want. If you leave the settings as default, but if you customize them as much and easily as you want, make it the, um, customize them. If you say the pages where you want to put them on, if you say how much you want to move, the, if you want to put them for the right or for the left, for the top, for the bottom, you know, matter if you don't have any how you want, if you also change the icons where you want to change them into. Okay, so that's a very uh, interesting thing to work with. If you even add your own picture of your arrows where you want. So I know say some of these uh, icons, they're not too nice. Okay, this one, they're okay. You can choose that. And if you click here, yeah, save. Make we refresh the page. Make we see how they behave for preview. So make we just refresh our, our home page. And you see our back to top button, the day here now. All right, so this back to top button, and it's where we want to go to show for this our site. So if you scroll to the top, it go disappear. All right, but if you scroll to like the footer or anywhere for the footer, just not black, you know, go see up for there. You click on you go carry us go the top again. So just all those tiny, tiny little things we really use to the add to our sites. And we feel they add all sorts of other interesting features for this our site. Okay, so um, make we see the other pages, make we see whether uh, we like any other thing for there. Uh, we, we we like the about page. I believe say every other thing, but don't they very interesting to the work with. So the about and all these um, projects and services, all of them then be the same, then look very similar, all of them they behave the same way. So if you change them, if you change uh the, the images and all those things. So make we try and change these images for here. So make we come here for this contact page, and make we change this um, background image. So one just put sort of like this same image everywhere, okay. So we'll just change this one. I'll make we add free image. And this free image, then make we add construction here. And if we just add this screen for now, click 
insert image you will help us insert this image into our site so we could get this crane image so this is not just for uh changing our contact screen we could change this browse picture and then we could just um find the link out of this image so we could just click on and then we'll open the image for a new link and then we could just copy the link so instead of downloading the image every time we could just upload the image from the url and then we could just use this image as our own image so we just click on and just like that we don't replace this image for here okay so we could click update once we don't finish and then we could try say so we don't add some address here we don't add some text here just for number all this was not dummy text and this is not dummy email we just add them so that we fit there get something where they visually easy to see and recognize but you could put your client's own name and all that there so for this google map here this is now google map for the site no be google map for google map oh. so if you want to change them for google map if you don't like video where you would like to know how you could fit add your website or client's website for google map just let me know make we say for here for this google map make we say we define the address so we go click for the map itself so you could just come here another thing we have for like show nana here this navigation you see this navigation here navigator if you click up it will give us this this um, box here so this drop down this list here and this they give us access to all the elements with the our page where they work so if i come this section go can we go the first section if i come this last section go can we go the last section then all the sections where they work with this in a section so if you read into um so on our way they do html go they're much familiar with this kind of structure but what we do we say one target the elements so that now the map and when we click that it's the same thing as clicking on the map here and if we put the address we'll be fine so which address we define make we just say we define make we say we want zoom in so make we zoom in a bit and we're gonna need we're gonna need to put our zoom so you see 1004 victoria island or you see say it is show us map of lagos so you're gonna need to do zoom in okay so make we zoom in where we're all right so if you don't like this you can see say we get all these uh, addresses for our map so so we click on press save for there or updates update the site so make we say we like this one and we could check out our south site could be and if we check them you can see we get this uh site for here so it will work well for us uh this is not the contact page we will work with so if i just refresh the page you'll see we get the contact page for here and we could change to this our new construction image we would work with so we could go inside our project and then we could change the project also so we could just say because it's not projects we would work with and we could do the same thing also for our services we could do the same thing for about so we get this our projects we get our services we get our about us page all right now so we could just change this one first so we'll click here for inside this section and for inside that section, we'll go to the styles and then we'll change the um, background with the image we'll work with. So make we look for one picture here. And this construction, we we use this one. So we'll just click on, open this image for a new tab. And we'll just copy the link to this image and go back into our project and set a URL. Now we'll go to put that image there. Okay. So remember, if you put your alt tag, and you could just come here. So now if you look at this picture, because you say you know they see the bottom side very well so bottom center just like that we don't update the site so we could go the other pages make we go services open with elemental no need to open elemental for new page we go the about open with elemental no need to open elemental for new page we will come our services click the section we could change style then we go come the images so if we add the link we want now we get that image there and of course, if you just even update the about us now, so click that section for there and change the image on the URL, paste that image in, and uh, if you save that one like this now, so if you put that, you'll get this nice about us. Maybe also change this image here, please, since it's big. You can find another one. So, here, you can paste on there and then click update. I like just change the the image and the name so make we save that ah make we change this because we don't want construction uh we don't want roofing we want and say we'll be contractors but you get within the border mm -hmm. and then at this icon here because you get sometimes we say we know the same so i will take get icons i will take get icons so uh if we look here make we try change the icon to something with the green uh, i know say this icons not be the best icons 
but uh, you go fit use Figma, design your icon, and then you go fit add up as a picture there. Okay, so that I want very interesting uh, trick. I want something with green, so make I just use this one. Make a refresh. All right, this is a we get this on our website for here. We get the link, we get the button, and the button they work. Make we say more fix here. So we come to customizer. We could fix this button for here. Okay. So we don't fix this um, button for here or this uh, link. And uh, we could change the address. Remember, I said the address we defined of this address. If we carry this address, if we even do something very interesting, so if we come here, if we Google this address, right, because it's a real address, but we won't find out for Google Map. And one carry this real address with the Google map, one carry them, and what you go do is say you go click share. And this share, it go open this link for you for here. So you see this share link, this google.gl, that Google link. You click them, and at this copy link. When you click them, you will get this link for here inside your inside your clickboard. They go come back into the customizer. And what you want to say, you want to link them. So you want to click this link. Remember, say that's the inside the visualizer. If you do this too for text, but you go write them as uh, HTML, but you go click that one and you go paste that link in there, and uh, just like that, you will it add navigation to this thing. So, whenever people click on this link for their phone, you go carry them go Google Map, or you go carry them if now Uber, you go show Uber the route to your uh to this 1004. So, that's a very uh interesting trick way uh we feel in. and also make we change the color because now on a link now no color again, so make we change the link to, to white and then make we click publish. So the idea to say because now link before it could be uh it could be you know another color. So if you change them, if you use CSS target them, if you give them a class and then if you use CSS to the target them, say, oh okay, uh make it they do something else. So uh I'm not going to show now all those kind of things, but if you do them like this, say you want to target them this way. If you also um change uh, do some design for here for the design, if you change the text color for here, and if you change the link color for here, okay. If you change the size and all those things, if you do that for here. Like this, so it's not to say you need to have exactly the way I do. I'm put link and change the color for you, but I just do this way now because uh, we they load the new home page which now just by clicking here. Go carry us go to the root directory. So this is not the real home page we will defined, but the problem we will face is when we click here, it they go home slash two, right? It they go about slash two, it they go services, it they go projects. So the home and about slash two, uh, we won't fix. So already, if you check, we don't already edit this about dash two we know they edit the about so this is a very good example to fix this issue make we come here into our site then we could come into pages from the dashboard and for inside this dashboard here make we see you see say we get two about so just click this quick link i could see say if you edit the link anyhow where we want so if you come out to this link first if you come on this first about this one are just some error way uh uh the way i cause on my site so now i'm not supposed to get this kind of problem but uh make i just fix that in case you Get this kind of error in future so you go first come on the first about and then we will want to rename the second about from about two to something like about so we could just edit them say about instead of about two and now when we first come on the first one we just want to call them about all right so now we go work like that and then make we come here so you see say we get two home pages uh so we get one which is our front page and elemental and not the active one and this one will be the second one we know where we don't need so you come quick it goes to say now home two so what you want to be say one come mod this home to so go click uh click uh cancel and go put them drum inside trash and then if you say this now this our my page where we make first so make we come on that and then make we see what we need so make we come on this one make it send them go trash and one go to menu so you go come up uh, appearance and go come menus for here so you go come menus so if you check here, you can see we get this home and uh, home page and you know the work. So make we remove this first one and then make we add a new and make sure say you choose this menus for here. So you see say menus, get different menus. Just make sure say you click the menu where you want, which now this primary menu, and then you click select. So when you do that, it will give you all these other menus really here. So you go click view all and what you want to say you want this home page. So normally some people know today do have, but um, if you just drop, so we go add to menu. And now you just say we get this home page for the bottom uh, for the top so if you drag now also if you look that cross it means if you drag now okay and uh make a show now also another one way if you do if you add like a custom link and this custom link we could just say oh this now just hash sorry hash 
uh, and this custom link will be any link where we want to make it do, make it take us go anyway. So if you just say more, it just means say you want other things inside now. So then I want to add this more. And now this more don't they this our page. So make we add some kind of other pages where we get. So if you come this more, what you want to be saying, one make them like a drop down before the contact we drop more there. Then make we make some kind of other tag. So if you just say uh, you want like our hello world blog, if you add them to this uh, our menu, if you write that blog, if you add them there as individual blog, you will add them. So you see this hello world now, you go come come here into your menu. Remember, say one do drop down, you go come drag down under here. You see, say the box now don't shift come this side. You see, the box don't shift. So you go drag down. When you drag down here, you go create a nested menu for you. So if you do them again and again and again and again, so if you say, okay, we can do them again, add another hello world inside them. And when you add another hello world, if you even come inside, make them even more nested. Uh, if you drag down here, sorry, yeah, there. So you go open more with hello world, hello world. As we don't add them to this menu, we're going to say, okay, well, now we want to drop this more inside here again. And the idea be say, we just get all these uh, nested elements we we feel the work with. So we could add another hello world again. We go there inside this, our uh, second hello world. Just to show and say, if you do all this, if you do anything when you want with your WordPress menu or your WordPress website. So you see, say, this menu, you get more. I get this hello world and this hello world too. You get more. And if you come this more, more, you get more. You understand with the point already. So if you press save, once you're done like this, we could preview this menu. So remember, say, you never add the uh, about page, uh, the home page. So we could just refresh. And then suppose give us any uh, more options for here. And this is a now we get this our uh, menu for here. So if you see, if you check here, we get the home page where we go our home. I would like to remove them since we get big menu. But see, this is a now we get this other drop downs here. So we could try to fix that option. Like we come, this is a day white for here, you know, to the show. So we could try to fix that. Make we go into our menu, uh, into our visualizer. Make we refresh our customizer. So you see the hello world and uh, everything they work well. So if you want to change this menu, I won't work with them for the customizer. Just click on and go configure the whole menu anyhow where you want. All right. If you come to come to configure how you want to make it the design be, if you come to configure how you want me the sub menu, they open, if you configure the border, if you configure the colors, all those things if you do for this settings. So if you say okay, you want me the hover style, make it change, make it a zoom in. So if you come here, change down to zoom in for the menu, anytime you click on. It could it behave differently? It could it zoom? It could it zoom? It could it zoom? You understand? So if you click on here, you click publish, you don't save them. Uh, then uh, make we just when you don't finish the work with them, if it just sign out. So if we sign out, so if we see how the site would it behave, and you see say now the site they work as it could be. So what if you do this? If you export the site into a real working website, if you redesign them, change the color, do anything we want. Then you come to our services, you go to the about, all these things if you do with this site. So, so I really hope say when I enjoy this video. I know say a very, very, very long video, but now just to give on this uh, other opportunities. So when I feel to see the opportunities where you feel used to build website and to show and say not be everything where we go to use code to the build. If you change the color of this in case these things they disturb you, if you change the color of these things and nobody will disturb you. All right, so so make gonna use that one as experiment. Make gonna learn how to do how to add all this. So I will say this video help person out there. But for now, that's all we need to learn. I will see you now for the next video. Thank you.